you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what recording and rendering settings you can use to improve the quality of your videos. Well, look no further, because I've done my fair share of research, and I'm here to show you the best settings so that you can level up the quality of the content you produce. A quick little preface before the video begins, most of the information that I've gathered has come from the Color Tech Tips Discord, link in the bio. I'll have timestamps down below in the description so you can get to the part that you want. Without further ado, let's begin with the OBS recording settings. We'll start off with the output tab. To begin with, set your output mode to advanced and go to the recording tab. I'll read off the settings on screen and you can copy them so you don't have to be paying attention to the video while you copy the settings down. To begin with, set your type to standard. Your recording path should be whatever folder you want your videos to go in after you're done recording. I keep my recording format as MP4, but it's your choice as to what you want to use. Now for the encoder, you should be using your GPU to encode. Your GPU option might look a little bit different depending on if you have an AMD or NVIDIA GPU, but for NVIDIA users, the encoder should be named as NVIDIA NVENC H264. For AMD GPUs, you may have to do a little bit of research on your own end. Now we'll get into the rate control settings. Set your rate control to CQP, set your CQ level to 17, set keyframe intervals to zero, set your preset to max quality, set your profile to high, look ahead should be unchecked, cycle visual tuning should be checked, GPU on zero, max B frames on two. Now for people that have never used the CQP before, the lower CQ count you use, the better quality you'll be recording in but below 15, the file sizes end up getting way too big, especially for long format REST content. 17 is a perfect mix of quality and space so that you can record your entire wipe with no issue. Now I'll be going over the settings in the video tab. Your base and output resolution should match whatever resolution you use while playing. All the upscaling should be done by your editing software, not through OBS. I keep my downscale filter on land cause and I record in 60 frames per second. Now we'll go over the advanced section. The process priority will change depending on your computer specs. I have a very beefy PC so I'm able to have mine on high but for people with lower end computers you have to mess around to find something that suits you. I have my renderer set on direct 3d11, my color format on nv12, my color space on 601, and my color range on partial. That's all of the OBS settings you need. Go ahead and tweak them however you'd like, and go ahead and test record to make sure everything works fine for you. Don't forget to save, and now onto the render settings. The tool that I'm going to show you is called Vocoder. It's a free to use plugin that works with Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Sony Vegas. However, it is installed using a PowerShell script. I'll have a tutorial link down below as to how to install the plugin. Vocoder automatically chooses the best options when setting up, so there isn't much tweaking you have to do. I will show a few screenshots though so you can see the menu, you can see where to access Vocoder, and you can copy down the template settings that I have. Vocoder is a preferred method to rendering videos because of how efficient it is. It will also losslessly upscale your videos to 1440p so that you get YouTube to encode your videos using VP09 instead of AVC1. This will cause less bitrate issues and will allow YouTube to display more details in your videos. That's it for this video, but if you'd like any more settings or if you have any questions, the link to my Discord is down below and I'd be happy to answer any questions. I hope this video helped you elevate the content you create. Thank you for watching.